buds, bienvenidos a mi canal for those of you that are new. Hola, mi nombre es Rosemary, also known as By Our May on all social media platforms, but you don't gotta remember that because I'll leave that all linked down below for you guys. So first and foremost, let's address the big elephant in the room. I am a brunette now. I am not blonde anymore just because it was too much to handle. My hair was literally like breaking off. There was so much breakage. It was just bad so I want to grow my hair out and I want it to be healthy and beautiful and slick and shiny like my sisters because I envy her hair what do you guys think I don't know I like it I feel like it's definitely something um, different and new because I'm so used to like funky colors but I love it I like it I think it looks really nice anyways that's not what this is all about this video is dedicated to the Amrezy and Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter that just came out on the 14th of February you know I had to cop this you know I had to get it because obviously like I love highlighters and I love to look like a glazed donut and I love to be a showstopper every time I walk in a room because my highlighter is on fleek yeah you know who doesn't I think everyone does so if you want to learn how to obtain this look and my initial and genuine reaction to this highlighter then keep on watching all right you guys so I already have my base on I didn't think that I had to film it just because you already know what I prime my face with and what foundations I'm using. Currently I'm only using like the same three so I wanted to skip that step but I am going to highlight today so I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Concealer and this is in the shade Y23 which is probably a little bit too light for me. So to set, I'm going to be using the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. I feel like even this was too repetitive, but for the purpose of this video, I wanted you guys to see that I'm setting my face the exact same way doing everything the same exact way for the highlighter that's gonna be the star of the entire video which I'm so excited for I haven't even swatched it I haven't even opened it and nothing I made sure that I filmed this video before posting it on social media or anything like that so we're gonna get an actual reaction like a real reaction. This is just an It Cosmetics Kabuki brush. I'm just gonna press the powder all over my face. Para vernos un poquito más delgaditos, you know? All right, as always, you know that this is how we leave the face. We're gonna jump onto eyes, and I thought it was only appropriate to use an Anastasia palette today because, I mean, we're gonna be using an Anastasia highlighter, so why not? I'm gonna be using the Modern Renaissance palette today, which looks all jacked up, but you know what? It still does what it should do, which I'm okay with. And I don't know what we're gonna create today. I have no idea. So picking up a Real Techniques brush. So we're gonna be dipping into this shade right here and that's just gonna go all along the crease. Okay, so grabbing Burnt Orange, we're just gonna put that in the crease. And we kinda wanna difuminarlo para arriba. Kind of like you're building it upwards like that. Cause we are gonna be creating a cut crease. Then picking up a Morphe brush from their blue brush set, I'm gonna be picking up this shade right here. which is red ochre. And that shade is also going to go along the crease, just a little bit lower. We want to keep all the shades in the crease because that's kind of where we want to build the color. 
And you just want to blend swiper motions picking up the same brush that we picked up that burnt orange i'm just gonna blend that out a little bit more then picking up a pencil brush this is the m431 we're gonna be picking up this shade right here which is love letter that is also gonna go in a crease just a little bit lower and more precise and I know it doesn't look blended and it doesn't look nice, but trust the process. Then picking up the same Morphe blue brush, I'm gonna go into red ochre because I wanna blend that love letter out. Picking up any fluffy brush with no extra product. And this is the Morphe M330. Okay, so to cut the crease, I'm going to be using the Pro Concealer from LA Girl with my angled brush. And this, I'm going to cut the entire crease, so I'm not going to go just halfway or just in the middle how I usually do it. So, directions. You want to look down and you want to start in the inner corner. So, siempre quieren comenzar desde adentro y en secciones moverse hacia afuera. And it's okay, take your time. You know, I'm not even a pro at it yet. I don't think I'll ever be a pro at it. So take your time and just build on it. And what I like to do too is I like to like raise my brows. I feel like that helps me. I think it looks pretty good, right? That looks good. All right, let me do the other eye real quick. So on my lid, I'm gonna go in with Primavera, which is this one right here. All right, so it's not doing what I want it to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this Stila Glitter Liquid Shadow in the color Gold Goddess. That looks really pretty. All right, so I'm just quickly gonna put some eyeliner and pop on some falsies and I'll be right back. All right, cool. Now that we have the eyeliner and lashes on, I'm going to move to the bottom of the eyes and then finish the rest of the face. So for today's lashes, I am wearing the Glam Attic lashes in the style Flare. So let's move to the bottom of the eye, picking up a pencil brush. I am just going to dip into red ochre and I'm going to drag that all along the bottom. I kind of want to smoke it out, like really nice. Then picking up Love Letter, I'm just dragging that in the inner part of the eye and then blending it all out. I think that's kind of it for eyes. I don't really want to do too dark on the eyes because there's so much going on. All right, so the eyes are done. All right, so here comes the most exciting part of the entire video, which is the reason why I wanted to film it in the first place. And it's the new Anastasia Beverly Hills X Amrezy Highlighter. And this is what the package looks like. I haven't opened it, so I'm kind of nervous. Okay. Like my leg is shaking, that's how nervous I am. I'm so excited for this. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's very sleek, has the little stars, obviously, because we're about to glow and outer space is about to see us. So this is what it looks like with the waves. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Relax, calm down. Oh, and it has a mirror. 
it has a mirror that's a, that's a good thing that's a good thing okay okay let's not get carried away let me go ahead and set my face i'm going to be using the milani make it last which is setting spray that i'm always using because it's amazing okay 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 here we go here we go all right okay so the brush that i use all the time to highlight is the it's a crease brush but i feel like it works for me it's amazing for me it's little and it gets the job done this is from zueva and it's the brush 228 like i'm so scared to even like touch it oh. Okay. Bruh. Do you are you capturing that right now? Hold on. Oh, oh my god. <sighs> Michael darling, what? god it like goes on like butter and i have texture in my skin and you can't really even like you can't see it like like what is in this she was not joking when she said she was coming for it like anastasia you guys did a beautiful highlighter like, I don't want to stop putting it on. Let me just put a little bit on my forehead. I'm also going to be putting that in the inner corner of my eyes. Because, why not? Just trying to find an excuse to just put it everywhere. So, I have found my new favorite highlighter. And it's not because it's Amrezy or Anastasia Beverly Hills, which are two of my favorite people because Amrezy slays the entire world. And I love Anastasia's products. But, like, can you see that? Like, I don't even gotta try. Like, you wanna glow? You wanna look like a glazed ass donut? I'm done. I'm done. Let me, let me do my lips so I can look a little decent before I die. I'm going to be doing the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Pure Hollywood because why not? Everything is like Anastasia, which is this one right here. Ay, Dios mío, ayúdame, ¿por qué? Oh my god. I'm so in love. Like, I'm so in love with this highlighter. You guys have no idea. I died and went to highlight heaven. Just adding a little bit of gloss. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. Espero que les haya gustado. I hope you guys learned some tips and tricks. And also, if you guys haven't gone out and purchased the Amrezy and Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. I suggest you do. This is RMA approved. It's like everything you guys will ever want in a highlighter. I promise you that. So go out and get it if you haven't gotten it already. I am going to try to get my hands on another one because I don't know if this is going to be just like a one time thing or what. And I definitely want this for like the rest of my life. That's how good it was. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up on your way out. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so. I would love to have you here each and every single time. Los quiero mucho. I love you. And I will see you in my next video.